All right, so what if we're calculating the area moment inertia about some weird shape that, it, yes, it's composite bodies, but it's like we've got something cut out. Um, well, to get the ix, we sum up all the ixs, right? We would do the i plus ad squared of one shape, i plus ad squared another shape, i plus ad squared another shape um, to get the ix. Well, if we have something that is cut out, like this circle, we're just going to subtract the whole, the total, i plus ad squared, okay? All right, so uh, we can think about this a few ways. I think the easiest and least number of shapes would be to have one large rectangle minus a triangle minus a circle. So I'm going to do one... Um, the large rectangle, positive, but then minus this triangle, minus that circle. All right, how about that? So Ix. All right, the I of a rectangle is 1 12th B H cubed, but that is the I about the centroid. I need to move it A D squared. First of all, the A is uh, 6 by 10. The distance D, I would need to move it 5. Don't forget to square that. All right. Minus, all right, a triangle. Look on our formula sheet, but a triangle is 136. 136 BH cubed. 136 BH cubed. Okay? But that is the I, 136 BH, let's go to the formula sheet just to show. For a triangle, 136 BH cubed. But did you see that that is the I about this x-axis that is going through the middle of the centroid, right? That's the moment inertia about the centroidal axis. So if we go back to our notes, if that was the moment of inertia about, uh, if this is 6 inches, 2 inches from the top, 4 inches from the bottom, I would need to move it all the way down here. Four plus eight inches, right? And square that. What is the area of a triangle one half base times height? So there, there we go. There I subtracted out the area moment inertia of that triangle. Now the circle. What is the moment inertia about a circle? One fourth, it, and it makes sense that ix would be the same as iy. One fourth pi r to the fourth. One fourth pi r to the fourth. One fourth pi r to the fourth. But that's the i about the middle. I need to move it four squared. I need to move it a d squared, right? What is the area of a circle? Pi r squared. Pi r squared times four squared. Add those up, but you know, subtract that whole thing, and I would get an ix of 1.19 times 10 to the 3 inches to the fourth. 1.19 times 10 to the 3 inches to the fourth. All right, the iy would be 1 12th hb cubed. Right, the IY would be 112th HP cubed, and I would need to move it from here to here, right? I, I would need to move this Y axis from the centroid to the Y axis that I'm interested in. Three, right? That distance would be three squared. Six, ten. Minus, this would be 136. Now, the formula sheet doesn't exactly uh, tell you this, but if we want the IY, we just either flip our head 90 degrees, or we switch the height and the base. 6, 3 cubed. Still 136, 6, 3 cubed plus area. All right, and what is the distance that I need to move this? It is about that axis, that y axis. I need to move it over 5. Need to, it's, it's from the centroid. Where's the centroid? It's Break this up into thirds. It is two inches from here, one inch from here. So I need to move two inches and another three. I need to move it five inches. 
All right, and then the circle, 1 fourth pi r to the fourth, and move it an area d squared. What's the distance I need to move it from here to there? 3 inches squared. Add those up. I've got an IY of 365 inches to the fourth. Okay? So, shapes that are cut out just subtract both the I and the AD squared. Right? Subtract both the I and the AD squared.